Hello, today we are going to go over a mobility and stability exercise sequence for good posture. Bending at the knees, tucking at the pelvis, squeezing the glutes, drawing in your core. You're holding this position here and feeling from the bottom down your alignment. So feel if you have more weight on one foot or the other, feel your knees, are they trying to lock out? Are they super bent, maybe internally or externally rotating? Just feel where you are in this moment from the waist down and try to get into a most neutral position as possible, being that knees slightly bent, heels drilled into the ground, pelvis tucked, and squeezing between your glutes and your hamstrings. Now, if you feel any tension through your knees, you can point your toes out in that position. So from here, we're gonna work from the top up now. Hold that position strong, and we're gonna do some deep breathing. So you're gonna put your hand on your heart and your arm, your other hand on your belly, your arms just relaxing down, elbows tucked to the sides, and you're going to begin a deep breathing technique. You're going to expand your abdomen out. And as you exhale, you're going to draw in the abdomen and squeeze the glutes. The glutes should remain squeezed throughout the inner inhale. But if they do happen to release and create either an arching or rounding effect in your pelvis position, then you'll want to readjust and squeeze back into position. Now what we're learning here is good posture throughout our abdomen and glutes. So drawing in the low belly and squeezing the glutes helps our posture align in the bottom position here in the pelvis. Now, you may be thinking, okay, I either can't squeeze my glutes or I have um, not strong low abs. That's not true. Your lower abdominals are strong. You just need to think about feeling them. So when you're drawing in, don't think about like sucking in or um, you know, trying to brace your core to like have that six pack effect. More think about your vacuuming your stomach and all of your contents of your abdominals and pressing into yourself so that you can exhale all of the air from your lungs. Because if you don't exhale all of your air by pressing in, some air is still going to stay in your lungs and then you're not going to get as many benefits from oxygen as you possibly can. And as we know, oxygen has so many healing benefits. Okay, so we're breathing, we're back into our breathing exercise. Here we go, feet at hip width, toes out, knees slightly bent, pelvis tucked, and our core drawn in. Now, when we lift at the chest, we wanna have a neutral neck here. So if your neck is out here, that's okay. We're gonna slowly draw it up and back. Now remember, if we have a pinched nerve or we have anything that's limiting the mobility of the neck, you're not gonna look perfect and that's totally okay. What the goal here is, is to lift and draw back as far as we can until we get into what we feel is a good postural position. So it's not all about having this perfect posture when we see, you know, the spine in like a graph, you know, it's got this curve here, curve here, you know, it's all, everything's curved in just the right position and that's the model for it but we don't want to go into the model and say oh i have to be like that in order to not have pain you are a unique individual and your body will adjust differently so we want to get as aligned as possible but don't don't worry about being perfect so you have the top of your head being drawn up by a string imagine this we're getting into the feelings of it we're Inhaling, closing our eyes, drawing up through the head and tucking the chin slightly. Not like we're looking down or not like we're like really far back. We're just tucking the chin slightly and we're maybe even feeling back here to see if there's any curve. Um, we want to maintain some type of curve there. So you want to inhale, expanding the abdomen, allowing your head to draw up and then we're gonna exhale and you're just gonna lift your chin slightly. You're gonna inhale again. 
tucking the chin. Exhaling slightly. Here we go. Let's do a set of five. Now over time, I want you to increase your reps. And I want you to do this exercise every day. You can pair it maybe while you're looking in the mirror when you get ready in the morning. You can do it after you put on your clothes. I would just say stack this habit with another habit so that you can do it consistently because this exercise isn't a one and done thing. I mean, we're just practicing and programming good posture and good breathing. So here we go, one more time, are you ready? This is what we're gonna crop out and you're gonna be able to review this day and day. So here we go, day after day. So we have feet at hip width apart, knees slightly bent, pelvis tucked. You're grounded and rooted into the floor. Wouldn't be great even if you wanna do this exercise while you're outside in nature, just kind of putting your feet into the earth can feel so good. You have your knees slightly bent, your glutes are tucked in tight. You're drawing in through the abdomen, squeezing there, but not too much, like a 20 to 30% squeeze. You know, this would be 100%. And this is just a nice, easy breezy 20%. Now, just paying attention to the chest, bringing the shoulders back. The elbows are tucking in through the side body. You're gonna put your hand on your chest and you're gonna put your other hand on your abdomen right by that lower belly. And we're gonna start to inhale expanding the abdomen, opening up through the chest, lifting at the head and tucking the chin, and then you're exhaling, drawing the abdomen in and slightly lifting the chin. Repeat that exercise for five to 10 repetitions. We're gonna add one every single day. So if you start at five, the next day do six, the next day do seven, the next day do eight, nine, and 10, etc. And once we get to 10, we're gonna hold that 10 for up to two weeks. So we're gonna do this exercise for two total weeks. And we're gonna see how the posture improves. And then if we can handle it, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Okay, I hope that that helps you feel grounded. It will help you bring air into your whole body and it will help you align your spine and improve your posture. Now, remember you might feel cracking, popping, tingling sensations while you do this exercise. Now, of course, only push yourself to your comfort level. You don't wanna be pushing yourself past anything where you're not feeling your best or um, you know, you're starting to feel pain, right? But also keep in mind what movement might have caused that pain. What area is the pain coming from? And is there any adjustments that you can make to your current body positioning that could help move things along? Now, of course, I always recommend that when you first try an exercise, you record yourself doing it and send it off to me so that I can help you Look at your form, be your second pair of eyes, and make sure that everything is going smoothly, okay? All right, so give that a try tomorrow morning or whenever you want to put this habit into your schedule. And remember, stack that habit with something you're already doing. That way, it's easily accomplished.